Good morning, Coach Sack here once again, continuing our readings on the Synaxarian, the lives of the saints of the Orthodox Church. On this day, the second day of October, we commemorate the Holy Hire Martyr Cyprian and of the Virgin Martyr Justina. Cyprian lived in Antioch in the reign of the Emperor Decius, 249 to 251. He was rich and of noble birth and enjoyed a great reputation as a philosopher and magician. There dwelt in Antioch at that time a maiden of radiant beauty called Justa, whose father, Odysseus, served as a priest of the idols. One day she was among those listening to the preaching of the deacon Prolius, who had come to spread the words of everlasting life among the people. Justa was so struck by what she heard that she straightway believed in Christ with all her heart. Such was the transformation wrought in her by faith and love for God that her mother was drawn to join her and went on to convince her husband likewise, so that all three asked Bishop Optoptus for holy baptism. Justa eventually made up her mind to consecrate her virginity to the Lord and to spend the rest of her life in chastity, fasting, and prayer. A young man called Aglaitis who was a pagan, fell passionately in love with her. But seeing all of his advances rejected, he applied in desperation to Cyprian for magic charms whereby passion might be given free reign in the body of the pure virgin. Cyprian consulted his books and called up the demons who were always at his command, but nothing he could do was able to tempt the maiden and let loose in her the fiery darts of lust. So powerful was her love for, heaven, for her heavenly bridegroom. Seeing the demons he had sent against her, thrice vanquished by the grace of Christ and the sign of the cross, Cyprian acknowledged that the Christian faith was more powerful than all his devilish tricks. He too believed and asked Bishop Anthemus for baptism, renounced his magical arts, and publicly burnt his books. Later on, he himself became bishop and ordained Justa as deaconess with the name of Justina. During the persecution of Decius, they were both arrested and taken to Damascus to be tortured. They were then brought before the emperor at Nicomedia, where he ordered them to be beheaded. And there's a icon written in the monastery of Patmos of Cyprian. Through the prayers of thy saints, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Amen.